are my sun. So I just want to go break through a book that I have been uh, coloring in for um, two years. Uh, not only in this book, but in um, uh, many books. But this was the first of Jasmine Becker book that I bought. Uh, and it's a uh, Jasmine Griffith Halloween coloring book uh, and I really love this book so I'm almost done with the book I have a few pages that I just have gone through yet because uh, I also got two or three the books and one on the way so I am gonna get one new book in a little bit, maybe next week. Okay, so let's go through it. So here it's a little bit about Jasmine Griffith Bucket. And here is the book. Yeah, it's getting old because it's going up uh, like here. It should be down like this, but yeah, it's okay. I love uh, their pages because it's quite thick so I don't know if the marker is good I have not tried it out yet and here's instruction in introduction about from Jasmine Griffith Beckett I am so pleased to present my Halloween coloring book it has been a joy working on this project this book shows 55 picture of my spooky range trans traditional Halloween image pumpkin witches along with beautiful gothic mates bull vulgar will vampires inspired by gl glorious times okay so yeah it's kind of uh, uh, di, dia 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 di las moras o venus uh, and of course some magic and some fairy tales i love them all so yeah that's quite nice uh, whether you are a serious color book consultor uh, concert color fan of my work or are just looking for fun ways to relax the stress and hope that this book helps bring the and and mystic of the Halloween to you all year long so yeah uh, I'm not going <laughs> to read everything because I'm not so good in English, but I'm trying. So I hope it uh, went well. So yeah, every single painting, uh, this is one of the first painting in this picture I have the color. Uh, it's not my first, I'm going to show you the first picture I color in this book. And uh, this picture is out trick or treat so that's the name of this picture and it said something like uh, uh like tarot and dash jack all lantern hat follow with this witch and skeleton front out on a halloween night trick or treat i love halloween and i look forward to paint halloween artwork every year this one is from 2008 the original paintings futures from magic present supplies halloween theme rock frame my husband matt made expiry from it this pumpkin candy bucket the shelaton is holding its fist on the plastic one in his head myself as a kid 
okay so she's trying to tell that she had this one when she was a kid and this is the witch and this is the pumpkin and yeah and the skeleton so i like the i like story every story behind the books so that's quite nice and here we have a vampire belta små leto okay some french i believe uh, this painting is original from 2010 uh, yeah i'm not gonna read everything so yeah this is one of them i did i was trying to make this gold i believe and yeah i had some trouble with the coloring here but yeah it's okay i was quite new when i was coloring and we can get better and yeah here we have one more i love the uh, uh, french kind of uh, thing with the no no it's me mexican me mila goes sorry yes so yeah something like that oh my god french and english i need only english so i love what i did with this flower if you can see it's uh, kind of small spots on it and something like that so yeah, i really like this picture it's quite nice picture um so yeah and then we have a clover clockwork pumpkin so yeah i love her artwork it's quite nice i'm only gonna go quick through it so angels of dia le morris this picture is quite nice because i did bought this picture in a diamond painting from diamond art club as well but i choose to do her hair pink then so um, yeah it's kind of super nice uh, color and yeah i and you can see the wings uh i do have the wings here so that's quite nice and yeah wolf manure so yeah this is also one with some uh, i believe she's a vampire with some wolves quite nice picture and then we got a witch she's so cute witch very nice witch <laughs> really like those pictures i had done in this book and then we got a new skeleton here i did something uh, special with um, the skulls uh, i did pre-cut around the skulls and then I took some painting and splashed it on. Oh, oh my God! Uh, and splashed it on the painting, but I was uh, able to secure around the picture, so I didn't get any on other places and only of the skull. So I really like uh, how it turned out. I was trying to do something new. I don't know if you can see how it turned out so yeah i really like uh, the effect of it so i like to try to do something wrong and this picture i was so tired of doing this picture because it was so black and boring dancing mamba tempo function so yeah This one was um, quite easy and uh, not so much to do about. So this one I have not started yet. So that's one, that's two. Maybe we can count how many, three. Okay. And my son is trying to uh, do a painting in my book. So he wanted to do this pumpkin kind of night out. So yeah. Is trying to do this for me uh, so he's not done and he is inspired by Holly Quinn so that's why this picture is uh, like uh, blue and yeah 
and Atmos kitties. So here we have some kitties for those who love kitties. I love her hair and her eyes. Absolutely adore them. It's kind of special with the um, green and pink and yeah. And here we have the fourth picture I not done. Fifth picture. Six. Okay. It was more than I didn't know. Seven, eight, nine. And then we have a nice wolf. A wolf friend. I really love this painting. She did go well with the, um, the green hair. So that was nice. Nice. And I was walking crazy about the wolf. So yeah. I did use a uh, color markering here in the white spot so he can come more out. So I really like that with this picture. This picture was my first picture that I painted in this book. So yeah, I really like uh, dragons. So I did decide on this picture and it turned out so nice when I did this picture and yeah it took me a very good while to do um, so I really love her and she's so bright with the red hair so yeah this is my first one and the dragon you see here I was in Bulgaria and I did a dragon um, color a dragon in um, sculpture and this dragon is the same color as my sculpture dragon so my son is always saying this dragon is colored by the same color you did on that dragon yeah it is and um, yeah yeah it was uh, some of them so i i do have some to do and then we have calling of the night so yeah some wolf or whatever and some cats very nice picture love the background and the pink night purple this one i did with um, like a watercoloring first and then I paint over it yeah I did because here is um, it's like a watercolor effect so I tried that out and I like it it's very nice and no problem with with some watercolor and here I try to do her hair natural as possible with smaller strokes so I really like her she's lovely um, this small picture is not easy to do because they are so small but I absolutely love the small picture as well so I was trying to do my best <laughs> and yeah maybe I have to okay I was trying to get some spider effect <laughs> Uh, so yeah quite nice um, spider woman like a witch spider little candy witch and here we have a pink hair I love pink I'm so loving the pink and this also turned out perfectly I love the light color on uh, the hair so I'm trying my best when I'm working on them and here we I think this came out quite good so I love the blue wings and the gray hair quite nice picture very nice love it so yeah I have some of them and I can see I get also with none uh, painting I get some print from this side over to here so I have double <laughs> a cute little girl in the pond voodoo in the bio 
love it. And here I try some uh, many colors. Just love it. Oh, this is my picture. Why have I not done it this picture? Oh, maybe because of the wool. Now one more, okay, in the end. And this one also I love. She's so pretty. So she's kind of angry, but she's so pretty <laughs> with her voodoo doll. Voodoo in the blue. So yeah, I love. Tada. So no more, I believe. No. So yeah, I have some of the pictures um, that I'm not have done yet but yeah they are super cute pictures I really love them this one should be quite easy I don't know if I want to turn the dogs into wolves or one, um, like very husky or something like that this one should be easy to do because one of the painting like this is like a wolf on the other side so yeah this one costs 13 euro I believe yeah something like that so yeah this is my book and yeah I have a little bit more work to do and maybe I'm gonna start doing it again I really do and I really love this picture because it's the first one I did so that's maybe why I'm so attached to this picture and I believe I want this one um, of her and the little dragon maybe in a tattoo one day uh, maybe I can do her on my my arm I'm not sure in uh, the same maybe in same color I gotta think about that so yeah this is done my coloring book and everything so now I have show you what my oh, oh my god it's shaking um, so I hope you like my video and I hope to see you soon and have a nice weekend and bye